No, it's I I I feel like it's a it's a more of a companion film than a sequel or a prequel. It's a um, it takes place on the same three days that uh, Thermopylae takes place. Thermopylae is the battle where Leonidas faced the Persians at the Hot Gates, um, and so this is a sea battle that takes place that did in in, in the histories took place on the same three days as Thermopylae. If you would visualize this new 300 in a different way, um, but then how would it relate to the original and how would it, would they live in the same world? Those are all the questions that we started to have to work with and answer. And, and I think that we've come up with a very interesting sort of, it's not the same, but it's not different. It's like a very, uh, it's, 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 it's cool. Slightly consistent world, you know. She's looking to, um, she's Greek and she's looking to take her revenge on Greece for a reason we're not quite sure. But um, she has, I think she sees this opportunity with um, the young Xerxes to create basically a, a vessel that she can occupy and manipulate into to her own, you know, for her own needs. So you have this woman commander of, of the Persian Navy, which is already like pretty outrageous, but that's it's true she existed, and Eva like I think what Eva brings is like this cool balance between um, leadership that feels solid and informed, and also this edge of insanity that she's just walking, you know. I really sort of centered the movie around her and her conflict with Themistocles. And I think that, like, that, those two are really the two, like, it's like, it's love and hate and war and all the things that you, like, you know, they're possible adversaries. They would be impossible allies. You know, it's all those kind of um, yings and yangs that you can, if you set them up correctly, they kind of just fight themselves. You know, they're like, uh, um, it's like a, perpetual, you know, motion machine.